Alright, so now this is going to be a quick demonstration video of the transistor I plan on doing. More transistor videos and updating the website really soon. So this is going to kind of kick off that effort. So in any case, I have here a 3 volt lithium coin battery rated for 50 milliamps. I bought these a long time ago and so we'll check the voltage. See how the voltage is holding and the negative side is this roughed up area positive side is the smooth area and there's a plus symbol there to help make that clear so I got the black probe on the rough area on the back and there we got the red so we can see we got 3.285 volts so practically 3.3 volts which is interesting because this power supply has a 3.3 volt option so we can build a prototype circuit using the 3.3 volts of the power supply if we plan on powering that circuit with uh, one of these batteries we'll get the same voltage especially when the battery is new so in any case I have here a demonstration circuit it's just two series LEDs and for both of them the long lead the anode is towards the the uh, red jumper wire here and uh, the short lead the cathode is towards the negative wire there so that it will conduct and right now I have my lamp at the lowest setting and uh, I'll connect these wires watch the LEDs and you can see they turn on but very dimly so the lamps at the lowest setting I'll turn it up to the lamps highest setting and you can barely see them lighting up now so they're really passing very little current these LEDs though they seem to light up a fair amount even with very very low current so the reason why very little currents flowing even though we have no resistor the battery has a little bit of resistance so does the wires and stuff but each one of these LEDs is blocking about 1.5 volts and at low current that's about what they block as current goes up they block more voltage but in any case the voltage they're blocking is close to the voltage that this battery is supplying and so we can't really do much with this battery directly with the LEDs which is why we're gonna use the transistor so now we're gonna move to a circuit that will light the LEDs the power supply as I said could be 3.3 volts if I move this tab over there but uh, you're gonna kinda see this flickering because there's kind of a loose connection there but uh, I can just turn that off and uh, there's also the 5 volt option you can see that the jumper is there or you could center it and turn this rail off these rails are independent of each other but I got 5 volts at both rails I'm gonna turn the power on and now we're gonna measure the current so I have here a 100 ohm resistor and the two LEDs in series as you can see there set to conduct so the anodes towards positive cathode toward negative and we'll complete the circuit through the meter you'll see the light the LEDs light up we have 12 milliamps of current and as you can see the LEDs are pretty bright oh that lamp was at the highest setting with the lamp off and the low level light uh, above us you can see they're pretty bright so we want that brightness but we want to be able to control it with the button battery so now we have the two LEDs and the 100 ohm resistor wired in series and we come to the collector of the transistor the emitter is down here going to ground at the base here we have a 15 kilo ohm resistor so one of these resistors a high value resistor and of course this one's 100 ohms and so we're gonna give a small signal to the base of the transistor before we do that I will add a couple wires because we're gonna use these to connect the battery again so red to positive there black to negative and we can put it to the ground or right to the emitter of the transistor it doesn't matter this is all one connection point because of this jumper there and we'll take the battery and I'll hold the 
black jumper to the negative side of the battery and the red one I'll connect there. So now you can see with the battery I have the lamp at the highest setting by the way with the battery we have probably the same brightness of the LEDs because we just wired this up as a switch so this is a low voltage battery with a fairly high value resistor 15 kilo ohms so with 3.3 volts it's going to pass very little current to the transistor and the transistor is going to drop about 0.7 volts but with that very low amount of current from the battery we're able to control whether the LEDs are fully on or off and that's a transistor switch and a lot of times you get a signal in this case from the battery but it could be from a sensor or something and it doesn't have enough power to power something up so using the transistor and another power supply you can use the transistor to amplify that power in this case it's fully amplifying it sometimes you get uh, a gain I'm not going to go into that but uh, with this one we get the full power supply because we have enough current to the base of the transistor to fully turn these LEDs on so now that's it for this video it was pretty quickly thrown together I just did this after work I didn't really prepare for it too much but I thought it was a good demonstration circuit to work with I plan to upgrade the website this is actually that type of battery I was using I got a pack of a bunch of them and uh, I figure uh, transistors are kind of a tricky component to learn once you learn them though they're they're actually pretty simple but at first they seem seem uh, complicated and uh, so I'm gonna do a lot of videos I'm planning on it and focusing heavily on the uh, NPN transistor on the website so hope to see you both in the videos and the website.